I think it's kind of interesting that um, you can compare this sort of like looking at stars in the galaxies, but these are tiny little molecules of protein which are like stars blinking, but then they are within the cell several nanometers down there. And I think you can draw some kind of parallels between these two. And I think that's pretty cool that you can do that with a microscope these days and not with a telescope. Hi, this is Sabinea and I'm working at the Hugel lab here in Freiburg. I'm a third year PhD and my work is to study about one particular protein, which is HSB90 and how this protein conformationally behaves inside cells. Single molecule FRET is a biophysical technique by which what we are trying to do is to determine the structural movements of these proteins by labeling them with particular dyes. So this particular setup will give you such uh, interesting observations. Basically, this setup is an uh, optics arrangement where you try to get a really high signal from these small molecules inside the cells. To put it in very simple words, um, proteins are these tiny molecules which are basically present all over your body. But um, in order to study them, you really need a sophisticated technique which can look at them at nanometer scale. So we can get information about how this particular protein is moving and changing shape. And that will give an information about the function of this particular protein inside the cell. So there are two particular ways to study these proteins. One is that you take these proteins out of the cell and then you try to study them without any disturbances from the molecules within the cell. The other way is that you try to put a label protein into the cell and then try to study them with the disturbances in the cell. I'm working on the second part, which is trying to study these proteins inside the cells. For that, you need special kind of microscopic setup, and that's this particular setup that I'm working on. So we built this setup uh, particularly to study molecules of these proteins, which are labeled with chemical dyes, and they are transported into the cell with another um, different microscope and an injection unit, and then these lasers will excite these chemical dyes, which is tagged to the protein molecule, and they give some light or fluorescence. And what I try to do is collect these fluorescence and study how this fluorescence is changing with respect to time in a specialized camera called electron multiply charge coupled device. <laughs> So first we have the lasers, so the laser light is emitted from these laser boxes which you see here. And then what you see here is there's a couple of uh, focusing lenses where it's focused very nicely and then it's collimated again by a couple of other lenses. We have three different lasers, we want to combine all three of them together. And then finally it is, goes on to this objective box here where it finally hits the sample. And then you have this fluorescence from the proteins which comes down again and then it flies to the detector. We use a kind of special detectors called EMCCD cameras. So these are special because they really have a niche for separating the signal from the noise. Since we are doing protein conformation dynamics inside cells, there's a lot of noise which is generated within the cells. So we need to actually separate this noise from the signal which is coming from the protein. Basically what we do is we collect the images and then we feed it onto our algorithms which will later try to separate out these signals and make certain meaning out of them. You really need a complex algorithm which can determine signal to noise and then we can determine if this is moving or not. So I think the best part of working on this uh, particular project is that you're working on uh, cutting-edge science. 
and then you're able to push the boundaries and the frontiers of science. So it's actually pretty cool. It can be quite challenging at times because um, nobody has done it before. So you don't have a reference, but that's also pretty exciting to actually be one of the first to do something like this. So that makes it quite interesting. <laughs>